Hi, I'm Chris Hawkins, and today we're going to talk about using cutting planes in Trimble Reelworks. Okay, so we've opened up uh, our uh, Building Point Florida uh, offices in Reelworks here. And uh, all we need to do is to go ahead and select the cloud that uh, we want to slice. Go to our drawing menu and select cutting plane. That will uh, change uh, the, the environment a little bit, throw our uh, cloud in the top view, throw our uh, sliced view in the, uh, in the bottom view. I'm gonna change this up a little bit here. Um, so right now it's, it's actually cutting um, vertically through uh, the model. We are actually want to cut this horizontally. So I'm gonna force this to my z-axis and uh, we'll scroll this view up here to make it a little bit easier to see what's happening. So as you can tell uh, that we have this big cutting plane uh, that's perpendicular to uh, the top view and we can see that we're slicing through some of these elevated elements uh, in the building and that's what's showing up down here in our lower view. Uh, if we drop this slider all the way down towards the bottom of the point cloud, you'll start seeing that uh, we start picking up all of the chairs and desks and all of uh, that miscellaneous uh, data and we're trying to find a happy medium in between to get us above all that information um, and any, any tall equipment and, but then we don't want to be all the way up to the ceiling either. So we'll call that a happy medium right there. And um, We'll just let me expand this dialog box a little bit so you can see a little bit more what's going on. Um, but essentially, all we've really done is uh, we've set the, our uh, slice uh, to be perpendicular to uh, the z-axis, and uh, we're doing a single slice, and the thickness of our slice is a quarter of a foot, <clears throat> and now we're simply going to create that slice. And so now we've come down uh, and added that cross cut uh, to our uh, list. Now the next thing we want to do is uh, take a look at using the uh, multiple slice uh, functionality. And to this uh, uh, piece uh, functionality, I want to uh, use this with along the x-axis. And so now, again, that throws our cutting plane perpendicular to the x-axis. I'll move this to a top view, and you can see that it automatically just slices through our building. And uh, I, just, I don't know what it is about sections. I just, I just enjoy automatically pulling this information out of buildings. Um, so let's go ahead and move this slider uh, all the way to the beginning of our building. And if we really wanted to, we can actually use the uh, point tool over here and actually pick this exactly where we want this to go. So you can fathom if there was like a column or I mean say our point cloud was actually just uh, an existing conditions of our you know column layout um, you know during construction you'll start uh, to get this uh, understanding that you can now you know start this at one column bay and let's say we want to slice this at every column bay and say a column bay is you know every 25 feet or something like that in this regard we'll go ahead and say a multiple slice and we're going to set this at, at every five feet and, uh, and it will then every five feet until it gets to the end of the point cloud density, you know, from this point all the way back to this point, um, will uh, generate a slice. So if we preview this, it will quickly slice through and you can see all the coloration of the slices that it created. We can rotate this around to to better visualize what that is and then you'll see we have a little step as far as control to essentially walking us through all the slices that were, were created from this point cloud. And again from here I can just simply choose to create. That's created a whole folder down here full of all of our cuts. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And uh, we can now take this into, again, our modeling software or any other exterior software um, to use for analysis or you know, any other BIM uh, kind of focused uh, task. Um, and so to do so, we can uh, simply, I can either select the entire folder and come up to home and export and export selection, um, or I can select the individual plan in this regard and uh, do the same thing. 
Um, again, I've done this uh, prior to the video here, so we're going to jump into Revit real quick and uh, pull these guys in. Point cloud, and we have our uh, cross-cut interval here, origin to origin. And you can quickly see if we jump into a 3D view how all these guys come across. And again, this is not necessarily you know, all that data rich on its own, but when you start actually you know, digging in and analyzing, um, you're always uh, breaking down you know, whatever data set into plans and section views. And uh, just being able to do this, again, you don't have to bring all these in at one time. You can bring just one or two in for your particular needs. Um, but it is a real quick and easy way to uh, slice and dice up the data and to give you uh, your base uh, uh, analysis information that you need. So for more tips and tricks, you can check out our YouTube channel or you can contact your local Building Point rep. Thanks for watching.